Hi, this is James from the Hornball Technical Support Team and this is a short tutorial to explain how to repair corrupt database tables. So um, the first thing I'm just going to explain to you is that uh, currently SupportWorks runs on MySQL 4.0.16 um, which is uh, basically uh, it's, it's an old version but we're working on version 5 at the moment. The problem with version 4 at the moment is that uh, tables can be locked which means that um, if you have a certain software on your support work server that's scanning files such as uh, antivirus, backups or even the Windows Shadow copy service um, it's advised that you add exceptions to scan the Hornbill folder um, so the Hornbill data folder which I'll take you to now which is within the C drive Hornbill core services SW SQL Server and data. So this is where the database files are held. Usually what happens is if when they're being scanned uh, each one of the files are being locked which means that if you try and make updates to these particular tables which is going to happen with support books anyway um, it's going to lock the table and then become corrupt. So there is a tool that we use to be able to um, repair the tables after this happens um, of which I'm going to take you through just now. So the first thing I'm going to show you is uh, what happens after a corruption. Usually from the support team the first thing we check is the actual log files in terms of what tables are actually affected. Um, so from the SW server log we'd usually check through here and look for a particular, um, a particular um, word or sentence here that comes up. Um, I'm going to show you an example log which you just seen pop up there. Um, I'm just going to see if I can pop up again. There we go. So you can see at the bottom of this particular log you have um, an e loads of errors that's coming up saying can't open file therefore it's locked. So in that, that this particular case it's update db. So one thing to remember is the tables of which are locked um, could only be the MySQL tables so if you're running on Microsoft SQL that will not be affected. It will be the MySQL tables which are affected. So uh, in terms of we now know which particular table is affected, what can you then do to repair the table? So I'm going to take you back to the server and um, I'm going to open up the um, SupportWork server server configuration. The first thing you would do is uh, take a backup of your database and after doing so you would stop all of the services. You would do this immediately as well if you have found this issue. If you ever get any kind of calls that you can't update or suddenly comes up with transaction errors, please do inform the support team immediately. But if you find this particular error can't open file, you know it's a corruption. So now they are stopped. I can go into the interactive SQL tool, so which is in all programs, all the core services, interactive SQL. Now to repair tables on an individual basis um, you can uh, type in the following. So let's say it's for the update DB table so that's within the SW system DB so use SW underscore system DB and then repairs if you spell it right repair table update DB semicolon. So that will go through every single entry in that particular table. This has gone very quickly here purely because I don't have that much data in my test virtual machine uh, but it can take quite a while if you have um, quite a few uh, amounts of data in your, within your table such as the mailbox um, can be quite large and also attachments etc. Um, so as you can see it's repaired and the status says it's now okay um, so it may amend um, the uh, columns um, within here in terms of the actual data within them. So if it's found corrupt data it's going to remove it. So once you start services again it'll all be okay and you'll be able to up update calls absolutely fine. Um, I think the most common ones we've seen which is actually locked in the past is um, email mailboxes and also uh, open call and update DB purely because these ones are the most used. Um, so that's how to repair tables on an individual basis. Uh, we also hold a tool um, to be able to repair all tables, so I'm going to show you that now. 
Okay, what I've done here is I've added the SW Repair All zip file to the desktop background here. Um, if these issues occur, please obviously let the support team know anyway, and they'll obviously they may supply you with this particular zip file. So within the zip file, uh, if I just extract that, it's just a PHP file of which we'll just uh, run a connection to each individual uh, database and repair them all. Um, so the way that you can run this is, uh, first of all, we, what we will need to do is just copy this into a particular location, which is within the C drive, Hornbill Core Services, SWHTTP bin folder. So I'm just going to paste that into there. There we are, SW Repair All. Again, with services stopped, um, now what I'm going to do is enter the command prompt and change the directory. to where we've placed it. There we go. Then finally we just need to finish this off by putting in the correct syntax of php.exe and an arrow sw repair all dot php. So as you can see um, this has failed at this point purely because um, it's actually a good test disk. You can see here that um, it's gone through each of the actual cache tables fine, so this is your syscache uh, table, SWSystemDB, and it's failed at one particular stage here, which is the actual message store. So the reason why that is, is because we haven't set up an ODBC connection to the message store. So I'm just going to go to ODBC AD32.exe and just quickly set up a ODBC connection. So database name, sw underscore message store, and the default area. So that connection's fine now, so if I rerun that again it will be able to connect absolutely fine, which it has done to message store and repaired all my database tables uh, within the mailboxes. So that means all tables are now repaired, you can simply then restart all the services. So that's all for the actual repair of tables. Um, I'm going to do another uh, tutorial in regards to the setup of the ODPC connections. Um, if you have any queries, please let me know.